encourage you to slow down a little bit. Yes. Does he tell you that? He, he, does, he does tell me that all the time. Yeah. He tell me that all the time. Just talk about the work you put in in the offseason to get where you are now. Uh, you know, uh, every offseason I take the same approach. Uh, I do what I've done since I was a little kid. And that's just work hard. Work, uh, working hard is undefeated. And so uh, going off of last year, I just watched a lot of films, see what I did wrong, see what I did right, took it to the drawing board. And that's what I've been doing all offseason, just putting the work, fixing the things I need to fix working on the things that I feel like I did good on. Can you talk a little bit more about your progression this offseason, whether it's speed gains or, or weight room gains or uh, anything along those lines? Right, right. So, uh, you know, I feel like I uh, work on everything, but uh, something that I've been focusing on this offseason is uh, staying patient, being patient, being a patient running back. And I feel like I uh, definitely improved big time on that. Um, weight room gains, that's going to come every offseason when you put in the work. So I've, I've definitely uh, gotten stronger in the weight room. I feel like I've gotten quicker. And uh, yeah, that's about it. How much are you squatting right now? And if I just said that, that's a pretty insane amount of weight. Uh, I mean, Coach Herb, they, they, they're a different weight, stra- uh, weight room strength. So um, we don't really lift too, too heavy. We do a lot of reps. And so I think the most reps I did, it was like 315, or like 25 reps. That's at the end of the workouts, but um, uh, he, he doesn't <laughs> he, he doesn't uh, really believe in you know putting a bunch of weight on your back, and uh, you got to talk to him about the science behind it. I just do what he said, and I believe him. You know, when you, I trust him. So uh, you get yourself working out being patient. How do you do that? How do you how do you get more patient as you as you get more reps? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, th- there's drills you can do to work on patience, um, and it's really just repetition. Uh, keeping it in mind when you're when you're going through workouts, when you're going through practice, hey, this is what I'm gonna work on today. And so I just keep it in my mind. All right, be patient, like, be patient. Slow down, because so, sometimes I feel like I go too fast, and me slowing down is still fast. And so uh, I mean, I just keep it in my mind. All right, be patient on this run, and that's why I've been improving. How much has Coach Hart helped you with that? Oh uh, man, Coach Hart, he's been phenomenal ever since he stepped in this building. Um, he helps me on any, everything in practice. I'm like, hey, Coach, what would you have done right here? right here and he's always giving me good advice on what he sees and I just take it back and take his advice. Have you ever seen any clips of him or him running? Oh for sure. Okay. You know uh, I watched him. I've known Coach Hart for a good minute okay. through the crew process and stuff but um, I watched his Michigan highlights. I watched him even before he got here. My father used to watch him when he, when he played here so I, you know I've been watching Coach Hart for a good minute and uh, you know, I just take everything he says in. Did you happen to see what he said about you yesterday, about him be, uh, you being faster and, and having a better work ethic than him? I, someone told me about it. I didn't see it, uh, but if someone told me about it. So. I mean, just being able to hear that from a, a Michigan legend like that, what does that mean to you? Oh, man, that's a, that's a blessing. That's an honor, you know. But um, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to be like him. I'm, What's trying, a, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to be like Coach Hart, you know, be a great. You know, take what he did and apply it to my own game. So, yeah. I was gonna say, what's what's a bigger honor, the, the work ethic compliment or the speed compliment? Probably the, the work the work ethic compliment, because I you know that's what my father installed in me, and so other people noticing how hard I work uh, is, a, is an honor. Because uh, you see the speed, it's it's hard to get faster, you know. You see, you kind of born with it. You can get a little bit faster, but you you just have to be fast. Um, but the work ethic, you you can you can become a hard worker. It just has to be installed in you and it has to be a repetition. You got to be wanting to do it, get that to drive and stuff like that. So. Is there a different feel about this team than last year? I know everybody's going to say yes, but you generally – No, I mean, I, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm an honest person, but, yeah, there's definitely a, a different feeling. Every time you step in this uh, facility, the energy, the vibe you get from everyone, the coaching staff, uh, the culture's changing. And so uh, it's, it's, a different, it's a different vibe. Uh, sometimes you don't even want to leave the facility because the vibe's so good. And, uh, yeah. How much has Coach Hart helped with that? I mean, I, th- I think he's uh, helped a, a lot. You know, just from his mindset, the way he works. You know, uh, I think he's uh, spread spread the vibe on everyone else. Well, earlier this spring, it said uh, that he had some spice, and then he said, "Well, I think what he was probably talking about is like this, some you know different energy, different drills. Can you name some different drills or some different things that he's introduced to you?" Yeah, guys? I mean, uh, just just the, what he has to bring to the game since you know he's been through. Coach, I want to work on my quick cuts. All right, here's some drills for that. I want to work on this. I want to work on patience. All right, here's some drills for that. And just taking what he's done and everything he's been through and, uh, and 
applying it to my game. That's what I mean by, you know, he brings a different type of asset to, to the RB room and to the team. What was your reaction when uh, Pittsburgh?